Hey guys, this weekend I am here in the beautiful San Francisco. Huge thanks to Rad Power Bikes for sponsoring this video. Today I'm riding around San Francisco with my friend Hugo from France, Adam from Egypt, and we are on a mission in the heart of the city to find the best food trucks this city has to offer. <laughs> To get us around the city today, we will be testing the Rad Rover Step Through, Rad Mini, and Rad Mini Step Through. Look at that! You got a Rad bike also! So today I'm riding the Rad Rover Step Through. The Rad Rover feels like a casual bike with massive wheels and a powerful motor that makes it easy to cruise down the streets. So I've had my pedal assistance set to the lowest uh, level, one, and it was easily hauling me up and down the hills of San Francisco. So we've been riding around all afternoon. This seat is really comfortable. It's a nice wide plush seat and this ride has just felt like a really leisure bike ride. Because the wheels are so fat, you barely feel curbs or bumps in the road. And with these tires, you can traverse all kinds of terrain. These wheels are like almost the size of my head. The top speed on this bike is 20 miles an hour and you can control it by the throttle on the handlebar. The bike comes with fenders, which is a nice bonus. You can also customize your bike accessories. I ended up getting this insane, heavy-duty anti-theft lock. We finally made it to Spark Social SF. This is a food truck park here in San Francisco. Let's go get some food. Here and we also have spaces for people to rent. Uh, this bus behind me from here you can rent. Uh, really popular food trucks that we have. One in particular is Sproul, very popular with uh, the morning crew. We have they have great coffee. And then another big one that we have is Koja Kitchen. Um, so within Spark you have uh, fire pits that you can rent. We also have a large field area you can rent. We have a bar you can come by for happy hour. Just a lot of cool events. You know we really try and focus on community here. Um, we really like to bring people together and what better to bring people together than food and beer uh, and drinks. So let's check it out. I wish you guys could smell through this camera and smell how amazing. What is it Trebs? Bro has this mochi. Blueberry mochi waffle. Blueberry mochi waffle. It, I'm addicted to the smell. I just want to stand here the rest of my life. Chef's kiss. I'm really glad we all came here hungry because okay. now we're just going to order everything off the menu. This was a great idea, guys. Can't, can't wait for the food coma. Yeah, but we got to ride back. We all got to save our energy. Good thing we have electric bikes. espresso shot after a full day riding around San Francisco. Cheers to all you coffee lovers. Wow, that is delicious. Creamy, bitter, kind of sharp. That like might be the smoothest espresso shot I've ever had. What do you guys think? It's smooth, rich, and delicious. And these sides, the chocolate nibs are phenomenal. Oh, it's did perfect, you? Perfect combo. These are chocolate nibs? We're supposed to eat it after like a uh, wash down the espresso? Yeah. How's your flat white? Cheers guys. Flat white's pretty delicious. These, it's cu hot. these cups are the best too. Mm -hmm. I'm 
inside the Koja food truck right now, and I'm about to watch these guys make some mouth-watering, tasty Korean-Japanese fusion food. Let's get it. What is this you're making? That is our original koja here. We use a short rib that's boneless. And then along with the katsu aioli, a bit of uh, salad. And there you're gonna have some lettuce, some short rib, the katsu aioli, and the koja itself, which is a fried rice patty. Lovely. So this one here, we are making a ahi tuna bowl, which is a classic for most people here. One of our most popular bowls. I'm half Filipino, man. I can't eat meat without rice. Salama. Yeah, that's right. And then next up, we're going to add on some crab salad. Did your dressing on the side. Again, we're going to use the same rice patty. And along with that, we're going to put a bit of lettuce on there to balance out the red sauce, which is a bit spicy. We put a pineapple. And then we carry the bulgogi beef in a marinade that we use. What am I looking at right That now? right there is our kamikaze fry, and it's been a little customized. So next up from the Koja food truck, we got a beef bulgogi Koja original sandwich with rice patties as the bread here. I've never had anything like this, so I'm really excited to try this. We also have a specially marinated koja sandwich also with rice patties as the sandwich holder right here. This is an ahi poke bowl with crab salad and that rice looks fluffy and like just so delicious with all that sauce. Let's try these rice patties. All right, wish me luck. It's about to get really messy. Oh my God, how do I eat this? Oh my God. Oh, this is so good. This is amazing. Mm. It acts wonderfully as bread. As you already know, your half Asian girl over here needs rice with meat all the time, so. This is such a necessary little koja sandwich to buy when you come to this food truck park. Next up, we got the original koja sandwich here. My friends are coming out, huh? I'm in rice and meat heaven right now. This is so good. I don't know what else to say about how amazing this idea of having crunchy rice patties in between this wonderfully marinated meat. I love this place. Our next couple dishes are from a food truck called Wicked Star Thai Vietnamese Fusion. Yum! Can you smell that from here? Got that? And are we doing this too? We got to make this truck look so good. You guys know chicken wings are like my favorite snack ever. Look at all that extra crunch! Wow! You are excited to try this. Yes. It goes great with beer. You know how to eat your you got flats. Your beer? Crack the flat. Go for it. You can have the tip. Thank you. The last meal of the food truck park today, we got these tacos, classic El Pastor tacos. There's one with your name on it, Adam. <laughs> Adam from Egypt. <laughs> this is it. Good way to end it. The Rad Rovers step through and the Rad Minis are a blast to ride, especially when you have a squad. This is my first e-bike and my friends and I had so much fun testing them around San Francisco. It's an incredible value for an urban e-bike. It feels like a nice leisure bike ride at double the speed and less work with the pedal assistance. The battery can take you about 30 to 45 miles in one charge, depending on how fast you go. I had a full charge and I used the battery most of the day. I didn't use the pedals as much because the throttle was just so tempting and I still had a couple battery bars left at the end of the day. So in San Francisco, the busiest street downtown, Market Street, is now a car-free zone. And I've gotta say, the Rad Rover step-through makes the most compelling case that bikes can replace cars. Is this so cool that there's no cars allowed? I know. It makes it so nice.
Thanks again, Rad Power Bikes, for sponsoring this video. Check the link in the description below if you'd like to hear more about the Rad Rover Step Through, this bike, or the Rad Minis, which are the bikes that my friends were using. Thanks, guys. See you next time.